Oklahoma State finished the 2007 season with a 42 and 21 record and earned a berth in the NCAA tournament for the third time in four seasons under head coach Frank Anderson. The Cowboys came within one game of reaching the College World Series for the 20th time in school history. OSU's 42 wins gave the Cowboys back-to-back 40-win -back seasons for the first time since reaching the mark 20 consecutive years between 1980 and 1999. The Cowboys won the Fayetteville Regional as the number three seed, defeating number two seed Creighton, and beat top seeded and number seven national seed Arkansas twice on its home field to advance through the Super Regional. OSU advanced to its second Super Regional in school history and the first since 99. The 42 wins marked the most ever under Frank Anderson and the most since the 2001 season when the Cowboys also had 42 wins. Well, we need to win 40 games. We need to get in the NCAA tournament and finish in the top two or three in our league every year, something we ought to expect. And, and then uh, you put yourself in those situations enough and, and uh, you're going to go to Omaha. And that's the ultimate goal is win the national championship. And, and every year now that we've kind of gone in here, we've, we've given ourselves that chance and, and we've gotten better quality athletes and better people that allow us to compete at the national level. The Cowboys were ranked in the national polls throughout the season. OSU was ranked as high as 10th in 2007, which marked the program's highest ranking since 99, and the Cowboys finished the season ranked number 18 by the National Collegiate Baseball Writers Association, 19th in the USA Today ESPN Coaches Poll, and 21st by Collegiate Baseball, as well as 23rd by Baseball America. OSU finished 16 and 11, and in third place in the Big 12 Conference regular season, its second consecutive top three finish in the league. The Cowboys had six players earn all Big 12 distinction, the second highest total of any team in the conference. Making the first team were second baseman Tyler Mock and outfielders Corey Brown and Ty Wright, while first baseman Rebel Ridley, third baseman Matt Mangini, and Jordy Mercer split time between the mound and shortstop were second team picks. Pitcher Justin Friend, outfielder Keenan Simon, and Mercer were honorable mention selections as well. When you're talking about some very quality players that are coming back and guys that are going to be cornerstones of next year's team, but it's a uh, it was a group that uh, was was a talented group that uh, yeah gave us a chance to get to Omaha and, and compete at a high level, and that's what we expect. The Cowboys led the Big 12 in six offensive categories, including batting average, slugging percentage, runs, doubles, home runs, and RBI. They ranked second in on-base percentage. Six of the Cowboys in the starting lineup hit 332 or better. Corey Brown ranked in the top three in the Big 12 in eight different offensive categories, including leading the league in walks and runs. Ty Wright became the first Cowboy to hit 400 in a season since 2000. Wright led the Big 12 with a 405 batting average. Wright also had a 35 game hitting streak in 07. That streak set a Big 12 conference record and is also the second longest in OSU history behind Robin Ventura's NCAA record 58 game streak. Wright's streak also tied for the second longest in the NCAA during the 07 season. Well, I think Ty Wright and, and Keenan Simon both were guys that had been through uh, conference tournaments, had been through conference games, had been through NCAA games at a high level, and, and uh, they brought great leadership to the rest of the kids. They, they kind of have a calming effect because they know what, what it's going to be like, and they know what it's like to be in that situation. They've been on the road traveling, put them in, in tough environments, and so I think they had you know, a lot to do with our success throughout the year. OSU's pitching staff ranked second in the conference with 484 strikeouts and their 161 walks was the second fewest in the league. Justin Friend led the Big 12 with a 2.11 ERA. Well, we had enough offensive power that to, at any time, you know, if we got behind, we had a chance still and, and we could turn the game around in two or three at-bats and, and do some things. And then we, you know what we did, we had great relief pitching. And uh, 
Our starting pitching was all right, but our relief pitching held up throughout the course of the season, gave us a chance, and, and it was kind of an unusual pitching staff, but one that gave us a chance in every game. OSU's fielding percentage ranked third in the Big 12 and was also the third best season fielding percentage in school history. The Cowboys posted impressive wins over number 10 Pepperdine and 12th ranked Wichita State during the non-conference portion of the schedule. They were a top tier team throughout Big 12 play. They took two of three at 14th ranked Texas A&M and swept Bedlam rival Oklahoma, winning once at Tulsa's Driller Stadium and twice in Oklahoma City's Bricktown Ballpark. OSU posted three conference sweeps en route to its third place league finish. OSU won three straight games as the Fayetteville Regional's number three seed. The Cowboys knocked off second seeded Creighton in the opener behind a complete game performance on the mound by senior Oliver Odell. They then cruised to a 14-3 win over top seeded Arkansas on the strength of a five RBI effort from Tyler Mock. In the title game, Ty Wright and Corey Brown delivered three run homers in OSU's 7-6 win over the Razorbacks. And struck him out. Oklahoma State has advanced, ending Arkansas's season for the second straight year. And for the first time since 1999, the Cowboys are going on to the Super Regionals. Six Cowboys earned all tournament team honors. Oliver Odell, Rebel Ridling, Tyler Mock, Ty Wright, Keenan Simon, and Corey Brown. Ridley was named the tourney's most outstanding player. You know, we, we played uh, probably at the highest level that we had all year, and, and, the, and we had over nine or 10,000 people there at the games, and, and not too many people you know, were rooting for the Cowboys, and we hung in there very well and played uh, at a very high level uh, to win a big game the first time we played them, and, and then the second game, we hung in there and just scrapped and fought and, and won a game to win the region. Well, I think the two guys that you look for are, are Jordy Mercer and Rebel Ridling, guys that have started around here now for a couple of years and will be three-year starters and very successful players. And I think those guys from the position player side will be probably the most prominent and most vocal guys that we have and that we need to help lead us down the line. OSU made its 35th appearance in the NCAA tournament, which ranks fifth on the NCAA's all-time list. The Cowboys now have 92 wins in NCAA regional play, and that ranks fifth all-time. OSU's 19 College World Series appearances are tied for the fourth most in NCAA history. The Cowboys had two first-round picks for just the third time in program history. Going in the supplemental first round were Matt Mangini to Seattle and Corey Brown to Oakland. Tyler Mock was selected by Philadelphia in the fourth round. Ty Wright went to the Chicago Cubs in the seventh round. Justin Friend was a 13th round selection by Oakland. Oliver Odell was selected by San Francisco in the 22nd round. Keenan Simon went to Pittsburgh in the 25th round. Matt Gardner was a 32nd round pick by the Dodgers. Josh Frisky went to the St. Louis Cardinals in the 33rd round. Martin Bino was selected by Washington in the 36th round. And Robbie Weinhardt was a 38th round selection by Houston. Well, I mean, it's a situation where every year we've gotten a little bit better and, and uh, got more quality athletes in our program and, and guys that can do different things. And, and as shown by the fact that we had 11 guys draft, you've got to continue to, to recruit good student athletes. And once they get here, they need to produce in the classroom. And that becomes an expectation that uh, our team leaders also had a hand in. I, I thought Keenan and Ty and those guys did a good job of getting the younger guys to understand that you come here, you go to class, you do what you're supposed to do off the field, and, and it carries over to what we do on the field. And I think we've done a great job of of identifying our needs and, and plugging in some guys. And you always try to get better. I mean, this was some really good players and some good guys that have a chance to play in the major leagues, but we feel like we can have guys that are very comparable and, and continue what we've got started.